Today on Worry Update, while Bonzi prepares for the color run, Jason Sip challenges boys golf, and we storm Area 51. It's Friday, September 20th. I'm Ellie Croning, and this is Warrior Update. Boys golf is off to a great start this year. Jason Stipp and Chris Snubs join Will Troy to find out more. All right, so we're out here at White Eagle Country Club with Will Troy, and we're going to do a little golf contest. Mr. Nebs and I are going to really see if he's as good as a putter as uh, everybody's we're talking making some about. Tips, some yeah. tips as he heads into the, uh, you know, the end of the season. You probably appreciate uh, advice like this, I would think. All right, so Will, how long have you been playing golf? Uh, since I can remember, it's always been golf in my family. So, what's the hardest part in a golf game? Hardest part. Back goes in. Oh my God! Oh, <laughs> oh man! <laughs> yeah, it's a little off. What do you think the common person that doesn't really understand how a, a team atmosphere of golf operates? What do you think we would they would be shocked to know? I really enjoy playing on a golf team a lot more than playing in an individual tournaments. Just. I just think it's a lot more fun and enjoyable because you, you're playing for more than just yourself. So hole in one, you knew it right away? I did not. That was my first one. It was one of the first one ever. That was my first one ever. That's a good putt. Wow. Yeah, I've been very close countless times. Good putt, Mr. Stipp. What are your guys' goals this year when you guys sat down? What were your goals? Well, our goal at the start of every year is to make it back down to state. Probably one of the most fun weekends that we have all year. Get in there. All right. Proud of you, yeah, you know, you. wish you the best. Wish the team the best. It's tough to be in an individual sport and a team sport. Well, you do a great job of handling both, so good luck to you this year. You know, you represent our school the right way, and we just, we truly appreciate it. Thank all you right. so much. Yeah, all right, Warriors on three. One, two, three, Warriors. Warriors. Chromebooks have a new feature that can benefit students. Warrior Update has more. Ever since the distribution of Chromebooks a few years ago, students have never had the ability to print from them. This year, that is about to change. Students are going to be able to install um, a printer driver to their Chromebook called IPSD Print. Uh, so the students will be able to go to the student splash page, click on a link to install the IPSD uh, print driver, and then they'll be able to print from anywhere, from home uh, or from school. Um, when they print either from a web page or from any of the Google Drive apps, so Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, um, they'll just choose the IPSD print uh, and then print their um, item uh, to here at school. Students can choose to print to either the LMC or the Art Lab. To use this feature, students will need their school ID or the Hero app. They just go up to one of the printers. We have three in the LMC uh, that are enabled and one in the Art Lab. Uh, they'll see a little barcode scanner on the side of the printer. They'll take their student ID or their phone with the Hero app and their ID barcode and just scan it at that printer, any printer uh, that has a barcode scanner, and their print will print out right there at that printer. And we still have a need for, for paper purposes. Uh, a lot of teachers use them for um, in-class discussions and things like that. Uh, and students still, you know, will print out a paper for their own purpose sometimes just to, to proof it um, on paper so that they can mark it up um, and uh, make proofreading notes or, or things like that. For Warrior Update, I'm Justin Cooper. And now, a word from our sponsors. Make a smile for me. Lately I've been so lonely and a smile might make me so
This car has got it all. A pink steering wheel. A broken navigation unit. True luxury. Privacy. A breath of fresh air. Aluminium alloy wheels. This car is the new 2004 Honda Accord. Well, Bonzi's Boosters kick off Homecoming Week with their annual event. Warrior Update has more. The WVHS Color Run 5K makes its annual return on Sunday, October 6th at 10 a.m. The event helps to kick off Wabanzi Valley's Homecoming Week. The Color Run is uh, Wabanzi's uh, PTA and Booster's biggest fundraiser. It's a ton of fun. We have over 500 students come out. There's just this huge explosion of color at the end of the race. That's the best part. There's a DJ and prizes and music and it's a lot of fun. It's going to be a blast. Um, it's a 5K. We've got five color stations. It is around Wabanzi Lakes. It's a really, really cool course. It's such a great way for the students to come out and be a part of the community, but it's also important because all that money goes right back to the students and to Wabanzi. With PTA, that means scholarships, that means building improvements, it also means classroom things for your teachers like smart boards or furniture. On the booster side, it means new uniforms for the team, tents, equipment, all the things the coaches need. This is actually our biggest fundraiser, so it's really important, and all the money really goes back to all, to you, all of you guys. And this year, something new has been added where students can raise $250 for their club or team. All you have to do is go and register on warriorsontherun.com uh, and just put in who you're representing, who your team or your club is, and then you can earn that $250. The cost is $25 per person. All proceeds benefit the Wabanzi Valley PTA and Wabanzi Valley Athletic Boosters. To register, visit warriorsontherun.com. For Warrior Update, I'm Aliyah Mendoza. They're storming Area 51 today, and they can't stop us all, especially WVTV's Maya Bufamonte. What are you guys doing this Friday? The, Going to the football the game. game? I think there's more important things than that. Like what? Have you heard of a place called Area 51? Oh! What's your name? Ron. I heard that they send the Rons in the front row so they can be the first line of defense. I mean, we are the strongest. Are you going to bring an alien home? Maybe two. I'm going with my mom. Your mom? Yeah, Aww. My mom. Are you going to bring an alien home? Uh, hopefully. That's the goal, isn't it? Do you think we can have a bring your alien to school day? Um, yes, I think that's a good idea. Yes? Yeah. Are you going to go on Friday? I mean, I'm not trying to die, so like, I think I'm pretty good right now. I'm working Friday. Yeah. Uh-huh. Vote 11 at Popeyes. Chicken sandwiches ain't back to October. I'm sorry. Have you heard of a place called Area 51? Yeah. yeah. Let's go raid it. Let's go raid it, bros. You're going to bring an alien home? No. Why not? Because I had a sister once and I hated her. How does she not know what Area 51 is? I know what Area 51 is. I can Naruto run, okay? That's all for Warrior Update. I'm Ellie Croning, and thanks for watching. Area 51. It's Friday, September 20th, and... Boy! Boy! That's all for Warrior Update. Oh, why is this so hard? Okay. And now, a word from our sponsors. They're storming Area 51 today, and they can't stop us all. My boom... Do you think anyone's gonna be like, does she know that she's like, that she's getting captured by an alien? <laughs>